Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome. This is the Soul Family Read for the 22nd of November. Uh, welcome from beautiful downtown Cancun, Mexico, in the indoor studio. It has been the rainy season this week. Uh, I think it stops tomorrow for a bit, so uh, maybe forever. I don't know the weather here. It should kind of be ending as we move into December. But today, uh, most notably, we have Scorpio at 29 degrees. That's the tail of the scorpion, the stinger. So um, I'm going to use the death card today. And they're using the Gilded Terror Royale to give a darn. Um, and do a reading around it. Just do a four card, five card reading to count the death card. You know, with uh, <clears throat> it's uh, kind of a mini Celtic uh, cross. Um, here so we'll do the personal end of the celtic cross only we're going to pick our core card so we're looking at the energy around scorpio around pluto around transformation um i think that it's really going to be interesting when mercury hits uh, maybe i'll do another reading for mercury uh too it's just going to be a few days and then mercury will be hitting 29 scorpio and that's when we might really see the the sting um, and this could be something in our life um, um, that becomes uh, really significant. This could be deeply like internal energy. It's kind of the way I want to read it here. Um, something going on that it has to do with our transformation. I sense a lot of us are in some kind of transformation right now. Um, and I think it's kind of winding up. My theory is, you know, the way the kind of uh, uh, eclipse energies work uh, back and 8-8, eight, eight, Lionsgate, which I think is huge this year. I think a lot of things come in. A lot of patterns are changing. Uh, a lot of cycles are shifting, and we're all moving in. A lot of us into these long, new cycles. And that's, uh, it starts, uh, you know, when you have transformation, it starts with death. <laughs> I call it the death card. So something's got to die. So I'm trying to get a beat on this energy. I really think, like, here in, uh, on the 4th, you know, we're going to have this eclipse now of the sun to go with the moon. And I think it's going to start to wind up in between then and the solstice. Uh, there's a lot of things going on in December, too. And I always put a lot of emphasis on the solstice. My birthday's the 17th, but I put more emphasis on the solstice four days later, okay? Um, so um, I think a lot of our manifestations are going to be coming in. If they haven't yet, I mean, I, I think we're going to see them this month, okay? Thank God for coffee. So I've pre-shuffled, and let's get started. This is going to be the past energy. Make it sense. Judgment. <laughs> okay, this is being called up to our highest good, called up to our soul's purpose. Uh, this is going to be around the nodes in the chart. Look at where 29 Scorpio is in your chart, okay? my third house um, it's a cusp of my um, uh, fourth house for me um, and it's two degrees off of my Juno asteroid most significantly and it is a loose conjunct to well not really loose I, I know it's six degree conjunct to my mercury um, and it's only a few degrees conjunct to my IC um, so it's pointing to me again that's the IC is that deep vulnerable emotional part of ourself that goes back all the way to childhood and you know this is in the past position i think we've done this if you're watching this reading let me know leave me a message um have you not kind of felt yourself called up and have you not uh, kind of answered the call this is part of the transformation and um, i'm gonna look at the future position wow so we have a strong uh, commitment here um, with the Ace of Pentacles, and how strong is the Ace of Pentacles in this uh, Gilded Terra Royale deck? I mean, that's just as strong as, as it can get. Um, and I love this for the future position. But what we may find with this then is we're starting something new, something solid. Um, like this is coming out of the transformation um, and finding ourselves turning into maybe an elk instead of a butterfly or a moth something really strong and solid out of this there's been <clears throat> i think probably a lot of turmoil uh what you know this too is the energy to me like when i've said 
um, you know, spirit, I want to follow the, my soul's path. You know, I want to do what's best for uh, me in the name of light and love. And, you know, that was like opening Pandora's box. I think that started the transformation, you know. This is very nice. Now, this looks at the timeline here. Um, so it's making total sense to me. Um, now, let's look at this is consciously what's going on. <laughs> I feel it. <clears throat> uh, there's frustration right now. I, I feel like it's ending. I have this faith with the Ten of Swords. The good thing about it, thoughts, negative thought patterns, um, and things that destroy us, things that kill us, things that do not help us, help our cause. And um, that's kind of where we're at consciously. Um, still dealing with that energy. But, you know, Ten of Swords, I think it's about over. I'm feeling it, you know, I, I, when I have a negative thought, I think I almost ca always catch it now. And I'll literally kind of examine it. Again, it's such a quick process. It doesn't take as much time to say it as to do it. It's not like I'm constantly sitting around examining my thoughts, but I do. Um, and I'll say, negate that, negate that. Or I might say, okay, now that actually is a legitimate concern. I need to check the account balance in my bank or something like that, you know. Um, so I don't want to dismiss what might be negative or disturbing thoughts out of hand. But you kind of know the difference, you know. There's a thought that can be negative, that can be helpful. It can be negative in the sense of like, you know, don't go down that dark alley, you might get mugged. And that's intuition, that's good. You know, you want to, hey, that's a negative thought. I don't want to be thinking about getting mugged. That's negative, it's going to make it happen. No, what you need to do is not go down that alley. And that's where you're, you're helping you. But a negative thought is like, you know, uh, I'm no good, I'm useless, I can never succeed, um, this will never work out. It's like glum, you know, from Gulliver's Travel. Uh, we're doomed, we'll all be killed, there's no hope, you know. I was related to that character when I was a kid. Now, this is in the, I think, kind of the most important part of this reading, the unconscious position. Um, this um, page of cups... It's coming. I think this is coming. Page of Cups is love. It's not just, it could well be love, like a romantic love. Um, it, this, is, this, I think, is the astral train that's on the way. Um, this is something new. This is something love. This is something sincere. In the future position, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So it has to do with that. This is something solid. It's something real, something you can hold in your hand. And it's coming to us out of love. And there's an innocence about it and a purity about it. It's coming up out of our unconscious. And look at what's underneath of the Ten of Swords uh, is a page of cups. So, um, you know, if something ends, then what happens? Something begins. Ace of Pentacles. Something begins. Page of Cups can be a beginning. I think this could be emotionally sort of opening up our emotions more, opening up our heart more. Um, that's how it feels to me in this reading. Um, so this is really positive going forward now. Um, soon the sun's going to be in Sag at my uh, sign. And I think it's going to be a lot lighter energy coming in with it. A lot of things popping off. A lot of these manifestations coming. That's kind of what this is showing. I mean, I really like this reading. Everything, really everything about it, guys. I'm glad I did this. It hit me to pull the death card and read around it just to get an idea of how this transformation's going. Um, it's definitely close. I love this Ace of Pentacles. I really love the Page of Cups here. You know, there's also uh, this energy of something new, something sincere, um, with not not a lot of ego about it. Um, this is kind of perfect. You know, this is exactly how you want to start this new um, cycle of our life here, which is like seriously strong. And stable. I think what's coming in here a big time for the future, stability in every way. Stability in love, stability in finances, stability in your emotions. This is going to be new. Like if you weren't, if your emotions weren't stable before, now they're going to be stable. So, thank you guys. Uh, do give me a like, thumbs up, share. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. Um, I do uh, all signs every week. A romantic reading for. Um, singles and couples basically uh, as well as the soul family read every day as a daily read that's more about the spirituality and manifestation here 
Thank you, guys.